My two daughters are very energetic. They are full of love and life. Good job. 20 years ago, I brought a home. Buying this house was a dream of mine since I was 13 years old. I love being a part of my community. Nutley was exactly where I wanted to be. I work. That's what I do. I do whatever I can for my daughter. I mean, that's my baby. I was in college for two years, and then one day everything just changed. My whole world turned upside down. Didn't put my health first for a long time until I had to. <laughs> I started getting tingling and numbness on the right side of my body. I was in and out of the hospital multiple times. I missed out on a lot of things. And that's when it came up saying that it was a brain tumor. I thought I had a cold. And I kept on working. Till finally, my doctor called me. He said, Mark, to determine you have small cell lung cancer. All I thought about was curing the cancer before my daughter got married. I got hit by a car. And four months after I was cleared to go back to work, I had a stroke. It was a one-two punch I didn't expect. The bank foreclosed on my home. For the first time in my life, I became depressed. Keep the home, keep your health, but there's no one to help you. I got hit by a car while I was changing my tire. You can't stand on this because you don't have the bottom part of your leg, right? He required a craniectomy, actually a removal of the bone uh, in, in his head to be able to deal with some of the pressure that was building up. He had hemorrhages into his eyes, uh, leaving him blind when he came in. He didn't know what was going on yet. Not until I decided to go to Hackensack Meridian Health. Selena came to me and, and I looked at this MRI and I saw the clinical symptoms she was having. Her speech was completely off. And you can just tell that she had been through hell for the last several months and it was all sort of coming down on her at once. And I was like, I gotta do something for her. Small cell lung cancer is a aggressive disease. It takes people's lives. If you survived a year to 18 months, that was good. So we put him on a clinical trial so we were able to get some new drugs into the mix for him. The therapists and supporting cast at Hackensack Meridian, they definitely just took a big part in building me from the ground up. When we actually talked about the surgery, I said, there's a caveat. The surgery has to be awake. Every one of the rooms like, the reason why we do these surgeries awake is because the area we have to work in is so critical for day-to-day -day function. He said that I was going to be singing for it. With the Center for Discovery and Innovation, we bring true discovery, true innovation for both diagnostics and treatment and supportive care. I've wanted to be a doctor since I was 11 years old. When I walked in those doors, the welcoming energy of everyone at this new medical school was just really inspiring. One thing that really differentiates Hackensack is the Human Dimension program. So not only are we learning how to be great doctors, but we're also learning how to see people for exactly who they are. Our role as a community health worker is critical in just being that support system, someone to navigate all of these difficult times. We started to fill out housing applications and outreach different organizations to try to get her secure housing. Hackensack Meridian Health has saved my life four times. Getting back to walking is not going to be the end all be all because I lost my leg, not my life. I love you. I have my life back. Hackensack Meridian Health was fantastic, and I can't be more grateful for that. After I was done with the treatment, they were telling me that I'm clear, I'm clean. That's it. You're cancer free. <laughs> okay. I was going to be there, so I never even thought about not being.